Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Charity Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Atomic Heart is having screen flickering or tearing issue and how we can fix it. So let's dive into the workaround. So first one is all about we have to enable vSync in the NVIDIA control panel. For that reason, we have to go over here in the desktop, right click, go to show more options, go to NVIDIA control panel. Now from here, you just have to go over here in the manage 3D settings. Now from here, you have to go to program setting. Now from here, there is an option called add. You have to select this one. Now from here, you have to add atomic heart. Now go for add selected program. And once it is done, you just have to add it. And after that, scroll down over here. The vertical sync should be turned use global. It is over here. So just change this to turn on and apply and go for okay then try to play the game and this is what you have to do as the first step next one is all about you have to update the drivers for updating the driver we have two method one is over here which can be done from here itself in the go to start go to device manager you can go to display adapters selects nvidia geoforce rtx right click and go for update driver click on search automatically for drivers then up to date and make sure it is up to date this is quite simple as it is next one is all about we have to update the game uh, because uh, many users end up in making a mistake uh, like this we just go over here in the atomic heart just right click and go to properties over here if you click on the updates as you can see automatic update so always keep this game updated right now as you can see this being set into always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it and high priority so you have to change this to always keep this game updated so what happens it will be up to date that is how it can fix issue next step is all about we have to verify integrity of game file for that we just have to right click go to properties click on local file click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time but this did work for many users when you click on this if any files are corrupt and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is what you have to do last and the least one is all about we have to update the windows or you have to cross check whether windows is up to date for that go to search i mean go to start and search for settings now from here scroll down over here in the bottom left click on windows update and make sure if any updates are like for uh, cumulative update or kb updates are just updated and are updating that's all about we have to try out and most probably this should be completely fixed and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.